Hello, folks! Are you ready for some fun from Konami? <laughs> I am really, really stoked for this. I have been putting a huge amount of time into it for how quickly it came out. This is not a blind run. This is going to be a hard mode playthrough of... Um, if I can get through the pre-title screen fluff. There we go! Pork is a nice sweet meat because of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So, with the input of the Konami code, let's play! Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I suppose it's a little redundant since I already said that. But anyways! Uh, yeah, I've just put just over 20 hours into the game. And... I'm just going to get this out of the way now. I'm gonna go and uh, customize gonna take care of all the overpowered stuff that I have. Since this is hard mode, um, it is kind of a new game plus. I have all the stuff that uh, I got on my last playthrough. And I'm just gonna put all of the normal stuff on. I'm not gonna use any spoiler weapons or anything like that. It's just gonna be a basic hard mode run through. Normal riding. I might change his outfit once or twice if I feel the need. But, um, Basically, the normal high-frequency blade that you start the game off with. No wooden sword, no stun blade, no machete, no nothing like that. We're going to do it on hard. I haven't done it yet. I can't imagine it's that much more difficult, because there's two difficulties higher. Very hard, revengeance. But, cutscene time! Come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business!
cyborg. One of our competitors? Courtney, what is happening? We got hit, sir. A cyborg. Cool. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get all money out of there. Yes, sir. so much from those shameful days running around naked in Metal Gear Solid 2. Three douches! One ride. Who will prevail? Well, me of course. Nope! Perfect parry! Tool! I'm gonna chop you into little pieces. So that was just a normal block. Not quite as effective as a perfect parry, but this is far more effective. <laughs> what is that? Raining thunder or whatever they call it. I love so many of the moves in this game. Da, Comrade! Not a whole lot to talk about right now. We got a cutscene ahead. Just skip these enemies. There's no point to them. Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it! 
Don't worry now, I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. That's right, Boris. The first boss of the game is Metal Gear Ray. It's had some modifications since the last time we saw one. This fight, despite the epic music and awesome cinematics in the quick time events, it really doesn't amount to much more than a tutorial for the ninja run and blocking. When Ray tries to stomp on you or headbutt you, it's as simple as spamming block to activate blade mode and you can do a significant amount of damage to its body this way. If it fires its missiles at you, just use Ninja Run to get away. You don't even have to waste time destroying them. Sidestepping Ray's charge attack or dodging the plasma cannon shouldn't pose a problem either. There's really no magic or timing necessary in this fight. Just slash, block, and use the quick time events to make the once mighty Ray fall with ease. Not rest easy just yet, huh? 
As I always say, take that, you fuck! Now I have a prime minister to save.